A big point of drama this season comes with Catherine and Thomas. No surprise here. So Catherine comes back after completing rehab. Now, what is this going to stir up with Thomas and the rest of the group? Uh, well, you know, it's pretty raw. Uh, like, she's very honest about it. And I, I mean, you know, credit to her about that. Because honesty wins the day, in my opinion. I mean, just own yourself. That's what I would tell anybody that was ever on TV. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, Thomas is unfettered, I suppose. I mean, you know, they're not together. Uh, I hope that's not a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> it's out now. <laughs> he's a lot of fun when he's, I mean, they do not need to be together in my humble opinion, okay. but let's okay. put it that way. All right, so during last season's reunion episode, things got pretty heated between Catherine and Landon. Whose side are you on when it comes to that? Or were you on, do you, who, I mean, I guess now. Is I just don't big... understand their rivalry, honestly. There's really not a whole lot behind it. Yeah, but <laughs> just out of It's nowhere. like a Cold War. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. Well, speaking of Landon, we saw in that clip that she says, I love you, you kind of shut that down. But then in the super tease, we see you getting kind of close to her. So what's the deal? Um, I've known her for like 15 years, by the way. Um, you know, it's it's very nice that she loves me, but that's a bad bad decision by her for loving <laughs> me. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not a very safe bet, unfortunately. All right. Okay. Now, I want to talk about the the newest uh, Southern charmer, your friend Austin Kroll. Yeah. Uh, so it seems like you guys, there's a sim maybe a bit of a rivalry going on here. I want to know what's your 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 strategy, maybe your pickup line for edging the guy out when it comes to like <laughs> approaching maybe the same woman. I don't know. Is there a, is there a strategy? Oh, uh, well, I just act silly. Uh, sometimes it works out for me, but Austin's awesome. And, uh, you know, he's like my height. My, I mean, from a thousand yards, you wouldn't know who's who. But okay. uh, he's a little bit younger. I uh, Hopefully, I'm trying to show him the ropes a little bit. All right, I got it. Uh, big shout out, by the way, to Lynn on Facebook. Big fan of yours. And she's apparently weighing in heavily here. So shout out to you. <laughs> make your, uh, I want you to make your pitch on why you're a better catch than Austin. A better catch? Yeah. Right here. <laughs> um, <laughs> Because, I mean, we see, he might be going after your I've girl. I've got a beach the... house. Oh, that. And a golf cart. What? Golf cart. What are you going to do? I know. It's an aphrodisiac. Yeah. Yeah. Golf cart. Well, I do want to talk about this. Though. So, um, I was watching myself, Chelsea Meisner, who I know from Survivor and everything. Chelsea. So now I hear there's going to be a little bit of a love triangle. So yes. tell me about this. Yes, What's going to happen? Well, Austin and Chelsea kind of get together, and then Cameron from uh, is in my ear like oh you should go after her. I don't think she likes him and I keep listening to that listening to that and then I tried to kiss her <gasps> and, and even though they were dating but they they tried to have their cake and eat it too like oh we're dating but it's not we're not dating and kind of one foot in one foot out so it, you try to I'm kiss stupid, her when basically. they're dating did you get shut down with the kiss yes <laughs> and I got in trouble with my friend Austin oh, so. all on camera I cannot wait it, it's Oh my gosh. I try to stay out of the drama, but. I love uh, it. Okay. All right. All right. Um, we love you, Bravo Boys, for sure. We know that you also have a bromance with uh, Vanderpump Rules star Jax. Yeah, yeah, so, we're buddies. Yeah, what do you think of his girlfriend, Brittany Cartwright? Is this, you know, is she going to be the one to kind of tie him down? I don't know. I mean, I've never met her, but uh, I can't believe he's dating anybody. He seems like a forever bachelor, kind of like me, but good for him if he found someone that's cool like that. All right. Before Brittany, Jax certainly had, you know, his bad boy days. As a fellow bachelor yourself, what will it take for a woman to sort of tie you down? Uh, maybe Are you like, past the bad boy days? I don't know. Like, it seems like every year that I'm still single, I start to like it more and more. It's <laughs> <laughs> just like a snowball. Yeah, I'm like, in oh the opposite God, direction. This is great. Okay. I don't have to answer to anybody. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> All right sure. Before we let you go, uh, Southern Charm Atlanta is going to be airing as a spinoff. Savannah. Oh, Savannah, Savannah, Savannah. Yes. Um, how is this going to. What's gonna be, I mean, is this gonna have a, is it gonna be a rival? Oh, I actually know those guys and girls. They're great. And they're, they all know each other from way back in the day. So I think it's gonna be really good. So I'm rooting for them, of course. Yeah. Right. We, can't, we can't wait for that. Oh, Thank cool. you so much, man. It's really good to talk to you. We all really right. appreciate you being here today. Uh, make sure to tune into Bravo's Southern Charm airs tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, YouTube. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment if you enjoyed it. And for more people now, click on the subscribe button down here. And check out more great video right now by clicking on one of these links.